Before watching this tutorial in regards to outfit toggles, I want to at least summarize with you on the different methods that a VTuber can toggle their outfits so that way you can have the knowledge in your brain so you are very much ready to get to outfit toggling for your VTuber setup. So the first method in regards to outfit toggling is to toggle between different model files. So this could be that let's say you have five different outfits you want to toggle with. Instead of having it all in one model, you'll have five different VRM versions for uh, each different outfit. This is the more recommended method as it's more optimized for your PC, depending on your specs that is, and also depending on how drastic your outfits are, it's also just less of a headache as each outfit can have their own unique settings. If by any chance you are someone that constantly updates their model way too much, it can be a bit inconvenient. Which there is the method of game object toggles, which is really nice for people that want to have, let's say, 50 outfits all in one model and just have an I guess a sort of quote unquote easier time to toggle those outfits, especially less input lag when it comes to changing from one avatar to another. However, this is a least uh, recommended method as it can cause your model to blow in file size. It can also be more harder to maintain each individual outfit. However, if you're a complex user and ha need a very particular way on your outfit toggles, game object toggle can be good for you. There's also the method of material toggle, which is really beneficial, especially if you want to stay purely VRM. You can be able to use uh, VRM's blend shape um, settings regarding the materials to toggle the visibility of the materials. Make sure you set your materials to cut out, in or cut out or transparency in order to do that. Uh, you can be able to toggle each uh, material. So each material is pretty much your outfit part. And this is also kind of equivalent to the game object toggle it can be a little bit more of a hassle to set up can also still lead to an unoptimized model but again if you're you know if you're purely just sticking with the vrm format the material toggles are for you and then last but not least there is a method of pretty much just material toggles but animated which i've made a tutorial about that i'll leave the link in the description regarding non-humanoid animations for unity especially in the context of water dough where you can be able to animate especially with poyomi little i don't care what shader you use even your own you can be able to use unity animations to actually have a transition going on with your outfits however though again like i've mentioned depending on the context of the outfit it can still also lead to an optimization but you can also get a cool effect when it comes to transition stuff but again it's up to you on what do you want to do with your outfit so i recommend just please write down how do you want your outfit toggles to be planned out how should they activate uh do you want simple or complex like a magical girl transformation and that way you can determine to yourself what method do you want to use and then you can go from there of course i'll be leaving resources in the description if you need further help on how you can approach your outfit toggle and with that being said let's continue with the tutorial Hey, 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 hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you how you could be able to toggle between two or more different avatars, especially when it comes to outfit toggles, whether as a redeem or a hotkey. So this method is mainly gonna be focusing on changing between one avatar model format to another one. So let's say you have five different VRM models you wanna toggle between, or 10 different water avatar file that you want to also toggle in between redeems uh hockey whatever i will show you how to do that now i uh to start off um if you don't know how to use water dough quite yet i will leave my playlist on water dough tutorials in the description below and i'll even leave the uh a full walkthrough live stream i made so you can learn about water dough to the fullest especially if you're a beginner but all you're gonna do is first make sure that you go into characters right here so go to Water Do Editor, make sure you go to the characters here or wherever your character is at. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the open characters folder right here. Now this is again, just want to remind, this is where you can be able to put all the different Wadado uh, or VRM models at. So 
for my case, I have three different models right here for myself. One is VRM, one is, uh, or two of them are wadded though, but one of them is my main outfit and this one is my summer outfit. So you'll, uh, so I can toggle between these two here. So that's what I'm going to show you. But again, if you have, let's say five, a hundred outfits or avatars you want to toggle in between, then again, by all means, I'm just showing you at a very small level, but you can go as crazy as you want. So make sure that, again, you put your mall files in here, and then you can, of course, uh, click here just to, like, check to make sure that your avatar does load properly. So make sure you do that. Check your model. Make sure it loads. So, see? I got a hat. Um, but what we're going to do in order to make it into a redeem, uh, we're going to go into Blueprints. Same with the toggle. And you're going to go ahead here and press on Add Blueprint right here. And then what you're going to do is that on this uh, little pencil right here, the you see a little tattoo cursor right here, um, there is a rename blueprint here. Let's go ahead and rename this one to Outfit Redeems. Hit OK. You can also rename the category here just to keep things organized right here. Rename Group. We'll call this Outfits. Click OK on that. And then let's make this into a Twitch Redeem. So what we're going to do is that on the search bar right here, you're going to type in Twitch. And then you're going to go and find on Twitch channel points redeemed. And let's go here. See? And then what we're going to do is we're going to then type in string contains and click that right there. Then we're going to go ahead and type in if branch. And then what we're going to do is we're going to connect the exit here to enter and then reward title to A and then output Boolean to condition. What this means is that when a Twitch channel point, uh, when the Twitch channel point is redeemed, what's going to happen is that it's going to look for a reward title. And then based on what that contains, what is the name of the channel point redeem? I'm going to name this summer. Actually, I'm going to call this one main outfit because I'm already in the summer outfit. So I'm going to call this one main outfit. And then from here, we're telling again, channel point named main outfit. If the pretty much if, if it's true that this is being redeemed, we need to tell it to change to that avatar. You can also have a false statement, but you don't need to unless there's something particular you want. But if it's true, what we're going to do is we're going to use set asset property. This node here is pretty much your God node. Anything you want to manipulate here, that is the node you're going to abuse. That's all I'm going to tell you. Abuse this node. This is going to be your everything. So if true, click on enter. Asset is going to be the character asset. And then click on the drop down here. Now, depending on how high poly or low poly your model is, depends on the time it'll take for this thing to load. Mine usually takes a while. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find a one named source. Source referring to what model is active. So click on source right here. And then give it some time because, again, my model is quite massive for no reason. And there you go. And then... Make sure that the target value here is set to the avatar of choice. Mine being my main outfit here. Now, if you want to properly test this, you'll have to make sure to make this Twitch redeem. Now, again, I'm assuming you know how to make a Twitch redeem. If you don't know how to make one, there are tutorials out there on Google on how to make a Twitch redeem if needed. But, um, but you can make a redeem. Make sure it's the exact name and spelling of this or you could just simply copy from here to your twitch channel point settings and then all you have to do is pretty much redeem on twitch and test to see if it works you can also again to make sure it works in water dough you can simply click on enter here if you try clicking enter here it's not going to work because again this is relying on these guys to work to make this work so all you have to do is click on enter here to see if it'll actually like work properly and there you go. See, it works. Now, for my case, I want to make 
two channel point redeemed for my outfit. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the control button on my keyboard and click and drag this. Then I'm going to do control C, then control V on my keyboard. And then on target value, I'm going to change this. Um, actually, it's already in my summer outfit, so that's fine. So there you go. Um, I can name this uh, to summer outfit, but for your case, you can change it to be a different name or uh, so change the model file, like where the frick is it coming from, and then your the name of the redeem. So that way they're separate. So I can be able to make it so my chat can redeem summer outfit, like so. And it'll take a while, which unfortunately, uh, that is a downside when it comes to this method that there is going to be input lag. As a, if you've seen my disclaimer earlier in the tutorial, um, there are different methods that can make it where you don't get lag. There's also the method as well. Um, I'll just quickly elaborate. I'm not going to go through it because it's going to... Is gonna be a little much. Uh, you could have multiple of the character asset if you need to, like if you have to keep them all separate, uh, but still want a more seamless sort of swap, you could duplicate and go from there. But again, please note that e each character asset does rely on their own tracking blueprint, so it, this can again lead to a very unoptimized step. So just be aware, like I said. Check the disclaimer from earlier in the tutorial. It'll give you like an idea of what methods, um, like what other methods you can check out if necessary. But um, otherwise, though, this is pretty much at least it when it comes to the outfit toggles as redeemed. I also want to elaborate this as well. When it comes to outfits that needs to be on a timer, let's say you only want the outfit to appear for five seconds or two minutes or something like that. Simply all you have to do is that after your if branch, so Twitch string contains if branch here, for set asset property, make sure that this is the outfit you want to toggle to. This being my main outfit in this case. And then you're going to type in delay control flow, this one here. And what you're going to do is you're going to connect these two together and set the amount of seconds that you want the outfit to last for. If it has to be like in minutes, then note that 60 seconds equals one minute. So um, if you have to, let's say if you want the outfit for like um, 30 minutes or something like that, you can use like Google to translate the time from seconds to minutes if you have to. But for my case, let's say I only want this for 10 seconds. So simply all you have to do is that you then uh, click on this, control C, then control V, and then connect these two together. Then this, uh, being back to my summer outfit, so it's gonna switch to one outfit, and then it's gonna return back to the outfit that I'm already in. So simply click on that, and just let it do its thing. So it's gonna turn into my main outfit, like so. And then after 10 seconds, which we are waiting on the clock, you sh um, I should be able to automatically change back to my other outfit, like right now. And that way, you can do timed outfit redeems. Ain't that cool? But what about if I want to turn it into a hotkey? Like, I just want to personally change my outfit to be something else. So in that case, you're going to make another blueprint here. And actually, no, not from there. Uh, let's remove group there. Uh, I meant plus here, add blueprint to group, but you can do that if you prefer. And then you're going to rename this. We're going to call this outfit uh, hotkeys. And then click on OK. And then in this case, I'll quickly show you both uh, the keyboard hotkey setup and the stream deck one. So pretty much... Uh, you can type in keystroke here, and let's use on keystroke press. And then you can go ahead here and use set asset property, or you could just copy from the other blueprint, but I'll just do it here. And then simply all you have to do is just set this to character, set this to source, or I could have just typed it in. Oh, uh, well. But you just click on source here, give it some time. Um, to load up, depending on, again, how much your model has. 
And then uh, making sure that you have set up your toggle here so we can, I can choose that as my main and then I can duplicate, duplicate this with control C, control V. There you go. Make sure that one's set to summer. There you go. Now, there are two ways you, uh, there are sort of two ways you can do the toggle. You can either, again, either use Keystroke or Stream Deck. So, Stream Deck. I will use Stream Deck Trigger here. Um, but before that, uh, you can either do this where one, you have like one hotkey for the outfit. And then you duplicate the keystroke one, so that way these two have different ones. So this one could be like one, this one can be two. So you can have like two separate hotkeys when it comes to two different outfits. Or if you want, like for my case, because I only have two outfits, instead of doing this, what I can do instead is I can make only one button toggle between both, uh, both outfits. So I could just only focus on one button. So for keystroke, we're going to use the flip-flop node here and then connect these together like so and then from there you can actually just press just the one button here and that's it you can just toggle in between again there'll be that lag that happens but you can be able to toggle between those two outfits instead but that's if you want to toggle between two of them. If you want to toggle between more, then again, I would just recommend keep them at their own separate hotkeys. So there's that. And again, like I mentioned, you can either set up with the keystroke here or you can use stream deck trigger here like so. Um, and of course, if you do run into any issues regarding Waterdo's official Stream Deck plugin, because it can be a bit buggy at times, uh, I will leave in the description below, uh, I'll leave in the description below two in-depth tutorials about how you set up Stream Deck, uh, the primary way and the alternative way if you run into issues, so please check those in the description below. But you can set these up with Stream Deck, and then name it however you want, uh, main outfit, summer outfit, all that. But that's pretty much, at least in a nutshell, how you can be able to toggle between uh, two different avatars or two different outfits. Again, this is a more recommended method as it's just more optimized, even though there is that lag that happens when loading the avatar though. At least, again, your CPU will not be crashing crazy much, hopefully. Um, when you're w running water though with one avatar though and again like i mentioned set asset property allows you to manipulate anything here this can also include yes game object toggles but um like whether here you can toggle game objects here or again uh you could reference my expression tutorial like toggle expression tutorial and you can be able to actually uh, toggle game objects in here as well. I'll make this a more dedicated tutorial regarding game object stuff. But even then though, uh, that should be pretty much it. Um, at least for the primary method for outfit toggles. Let me know if you have any other questions. Please join the Waterdo Discord server if you have more uh, more issues when it comes to Waterdo. Or maybe you have features that you want to request to Waterdo though. But I do hope that you have a lovely day though. And... You know, happy summer, everyone. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me, and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye.